Hey guys, do it on a dime here. So we are headed to the Bahamas in three days for our five year anniversary. I'm so excited, but I wanna show you guys when packing some of my favorite tips and show you how to have free packing cubes. Yes, free. We are in the midst of packing, so the luggage isn't complete, but let me show you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen these packing cubes. They come in varying sizes, like really big ones and smaller ones to keep like shirts in and all that sort of stuff. So nothing shifts in your luggage when you're traveling. Please don't ever spend money on those. They are such a waste because you already have them. You know those little containers? This is from TJ Maxx. I think there were like, nail polishes or like foot lotions in here. There's bigger sizes. You know when you get sheets or like a comforter or something for your bed, they come in like those really heavy duty plastic packages. Save those. This is what I'm keeping my beach cover ups in. I can quickly set this in my luggage, it never shifts. I can grab that, I can put it straight in my beach bag. It's so easy. This one is housing all of my bathing suits and pool clothes. That is it. And it's kind of long like this. And I think our chair covers came in this, but this plastic is so high quality. Quality. When I open it up, I know everything is located in that bag. This one was another completely free one, but I am just using this to keep all of my hair stuff. And everything is packed like a packing cube, but I spent zero dollars, y'all. If you don't have those bags, like you haven't been saving them, just use gallon Ziploc bags. These things act as packing cubes, and then you know exactly what's in them. You can label them, and don't throw them away. Reuse them. I have this little basket that I keep in my closet, and I keep all of my travel stuff in here. So I've got all these extra Ziploc bags so I can reuse them, you know, other weird bags that I save that I know will come in handy when it comes time for travel. And if you really want to get something right now, these are from the Dollar Tree and they're not very high quality. I'll be totally honest. They're a little bit flimsy, but the sweater bags, like these sweater packs can totally work as packing cubes and you get two for just a dollar. What I like to do is put all of my conditioners and shampoo and all that stuff in these little tubes, and I love these. I'm gonna put a link in the description to my blog, which will show you exactly where you can get these. I used to have these ones that, I don't know if you guys can see this, but first of all, they would come open in your luggage. If something like it got hit, it would come open and spill everywhere. And when you wanna get the last bit out, you see how you can't, because this is a really firm plastic? But these ones are great because they're totally flexible. They're like a really soft plastic, and I don't know if you guys can hear this. You hear how that like that's hard to open? That is what you want. So that way when it's in flight, nothing is gonna spill out. That is like, I love these things. I would just, I just love them. So another random tip is to save those high quality bags that like cosmetics come in or just, you know, things are shipped to you in. I use these to keep my cell phone at the beach. I just zip it up. It's clear so I can see everything that's in it. This is just an old pacifier case. I use these for a million things, but I am keeping bobby pins and hair ties in here. I've also seen people use Tic Tac cases for their bobby pins when they're traveling. And another tip is if you're traveling with collared shirts or like a nicer outfit, roll up a belt inside of the shirt just like this to prop up the collar so it doesn't get flattened and squished. So I know I have some old school followers, but lots of new subscribers. So you new subscribers haven't seen me talk about this tip yet. Put your shoes in, what is this called? Put your shoes in shower caps because they will make your luggage not get dirty, not smell. And I got them from the dollar store. You get 15 in a pack for a dollar. Very easy. And we just keep reusing them. I just keep them in the closet and it's perfect for future trips. Luggage always smells weird no matter what you do. Anytime you travel, tuck a dryer sheet inside your luggage. I promise you, you will not regret it later. Never, never, never pack your suitcase without having a list. I have this list that is the same every time. These are all of the things I could possibly need no matter where I go. And depending on where I'm going, I just don't pack some of the stuff. And I have this posted in our bathroom. Again, I'm gonna have a link to my blog in the description. You can download this for free, edit it for free. So wherever you're traveling, this will be like a starting point for you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I know. I'm leaving. And so is Daddy. But we're going to come home. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Leave me your tips in the comments below when you left your kids for the first time. Bye-bye. What did you do to make it easier? Because I'm going to miss this. Bye-bye. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Say bye-bye. Oh, now he's not going to say it. Bye.